Hey everyone, it's Justin here, and welcome back to a quick tutorial on Visual Boy Advance. We're going to be messing with the settings to make the picture look a little bit better and smoother. So this is what I use for all my videos. We're just going to go up into Options here, and we're going to go into Filter. By default, this is going to be set to Normal, which kind of looks like the regular Game Boy Advance, which is fine if that's what you're into, but I personally prefer something a little bit cleaner looking. So I use HQ2X. And here we go. It looks a little bit smoother, a little bit nicer. I like it a lot better. Uh, other things we can do, we're going to go into the frame skip and we're going to click 0 over 2. 2 will make it about 30 FPS. 0 makes it to the equivalent of 60 FPS. Looks a lot smoother in my opinion. Uh, some other things we can do in the emulator. I use the real-time clock. This is important for games like Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Uh, save type, we're going to go to automatic and then flash 128K. This is going to prevent you from getting save problems that corrupt your file. Other things we can do, make sure we have all of our sound settings on on, of course. And then we're going to go to 44 kilohertz. This is going to give you the best sound quality. Now, everything else doesn't really matter as much. I use the Game Boy color setting and then I use real colors just to give you a little bit better color. But I don't think I don't think it makes a huge difference in my opinion. But anyways, guys, those were my settings. I, hopefully, I did this in under two minutes. I just want to make it quick and easy, straight to the point for you guys. So thank you for watching.